obviously, because with you being from then. So was it, yeah. it was just like, just on the so, TV? So, I'm lying, I'm just fighting it now, but... Um, anyway, uh, you were saying, sorry, I apologize. I yeah, like, to us, it's all like, from what you see on TV, but obviously yeah. for you, it's it's in your... Yeah. Um... I still, I still feel like it happened yesterday. Wow, yeah, that twenty years has just flown by. It, it's like a lot has happened, and I know the time. A lot of time has passed, but to me, yeah. like when, the, like when it gets closer to that day, it just feels like man, this happened recently, even though it's like twenty years ago. You know? Yeah. It's something I'll probably, uh, you know, remember till the day. I died. Is this thing on? Not to test, sound test. all hey, dramatic and stuff, but uh, an for you. that's true. You I think even it. people who live in the other side of the world to you, it's it's a historical event that just You've got two choices. Stay with everyone. Buy an SDU. It was just one. It's one of those things you where sure. you know you're always going to have mm. uh, people people who haven't lived through it, like my niece, for example, or my nephew, or whoever. Yeah. Like. They didn't live through it, so to them it's like history. But, you know, anybody who lived through anything, like, you know, I'm sure if you ask like a World War II veteran, you know, they'll, like I say, somebody who was in the battlefield, like, they'll recount yeah. things that happened 70 years ago, or 80 years ago, uh, like it was yesterday. Mm. So, it's ingrained in the minds of anybody, of course. Uh, it's it's still emotional. I used to get very emotional about it. Like, I remember. I remember <laughs> Uh, the first, like, even like afterwards, like, Remember, forget about the event, and then, yeah, that was tragic, people. but just yeah. like, so the feeling in, in, in the city, like, afterwards, it was yeah. just so, like, people just so deflated. It was just so, yeah. like, hard, you know, heartbreaking just to see uh, people, you know, um, just sort of walking around in the days. There's actually a good video on uh, YouTube. It's like a day after 9 11. There's no sound, nobody's narrating anything. It's just sort of like showing different people around the city what they're doing. Some are like, you know, okay. walking around, some are right crying, now, some are just playing hacky sack. I don't know, it's like different, whatever. You know, just whatever. But I can only tell you what my personal thing was. What is this? Yeah. Yeah. So. I would say, uh, for me, like, that day was a little surreal because I was, I was in, I was in, I'm away to school at that time. I was, it was my freshman year of, uh, uh college, basically. Oh, so right. I was, I was on my way to my math class because, uh, the, you know, the, the way school is here, and I'm assuming it's the way, the same way over there, you just, you just schedule your classes and you just go at whatever yeah. time you schedule them for. So I had like a morning and an evening class uh, that day. So I was just leaving for my morning class. And I, I distinctly remember just leaving my house and it was just such, such a beautiful day, like really, really nice yeah. weather, like really crisp, but not like cold. Mm. Um, you know, like no clouds in the sky pretty much. Yeah, I, just, I just remember that day when we were just walking out of my house. <laughs> like that kind of stuff. Like, don't touch that. And, uh, you know, at that point, we didn't have a like, Twitter or anything like that, so we weren't like, connected like we are yeah. now, where it's like you just, you know, you turn on your phone and you get, a, you know, get the word from Twitter saying that something happened. Yeah. By the way, we are live, guys. So we're just, I was just talking about that a little quick. We're going to switch over to something more <laughs> fun. <laughs> but since it is the 20th anniversary, we might as well talk about it a bit. And if you guys uh, have any any of your memories, uh, put them in the comments or just let us know. But anyway, so um, so basically, yeah. So I was in the house, and I, at that point, I didn't know much. And uh, around that time, actually, that's when the first plane hit, but I didn't know about it. Wow. Well, yeah. Because I was on a bus. I was listening to my uh, disc man. That's how far it is. <laughs> that's how long it is ago. Like, who is the disc man? Anyway. Yeah, but I was, I was I had like a, I used to have like a whole bunch of CDs in my uh, like my book bag, where I would just like yeah. swap them out. Not like now, you just squeeze here up a song on <laughs> Spotify or something. Hey, come hang so, out. I can't fight. Sorry, I'm stretching this out a bit, but I'm just trying to paint like a picture, sort of like not just like say yeah, the facts. Yeah. So, 
uh, you know, so basically, long story short, I'm a bit oblivious of what's going on just because uh, I don't really know. Because, you know, I, I hear people on a, on a bus sort of like making phone calls, but, you know, like, you know, it's New York City, you know, people are always talk, talking to each other or whatever. Yeah. Even then, you know, when cell phones came out before, you know, on their cell phones talking to each other. But, you know, it's like a weird sort of uh, thing, but I, I didn't really, I didn't even look into it. I was just sort of, okay, whatever, people are just, you know, making phone calls. It was a little bit more than usual, but it wasn't anything that stood out. Nobody was crying. I no, think at that no. point, it hasn't really hit, you know, uh, people, um, no pun intended. Uh, uh, that there was a terrorist attack. It was, I think it was around around the time, hey, what's up, Rene? It was like around the time where, um, I think it was the first plane hit, because when I got to school, the second plane yeah. hit. And uh, when I get to class, that's when I see people crying, and obviously mm. school was canceled at that point, so like that. Uh, then, I, it sort of hit me, but it was sort of like one of those, um, it was one of those things where, like, you don't fully grasp the situation. You're just thinking, okay, uh, yeah, some planes hit the. Because in '93, uh, you know, there was a terrorist attack too. I don't know if you know about that. Yeah, it was a no. truck bomb, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. So you know, everybody was thinking, okay, like uh, you know, they try to do it again. You know, they're probably not going to succeed this time again because you know they already tried to do it. You know. Yeah. You know, nobody, nobody at that time thought you know they were just going to crash, but. Planes, and you know, it was it was a kind of unprecedented thing. You know, nobody really knew what to make of it. So, even though people were crying, and I found out what happened, I was still sort of like, okay, uh, it happened. Uh, I guess I'll just get home and uh, just sort of like watch it on TV. I wasn't gonna yeah. go down to Manhattan because everything was pretty pretty much closed, and plus I was like 18 years old. I didn't really feel like going down. You know. I, d I just knew something happened. So when I get home, like maybe 10 minutes later, I, you know, I, I turn on the TV and 10 minutes later, the building fell. That's when it kind of hit me. I was like, oh shit. It was still severe as fuck, like, I'm not gonna lie, but yeah. like, I, gra I started grasping the situation a lot more. Yeah. Um, and yeah, just, but, so, you know, that was that day, obviously, we was glued to their TVs for like days. And, you know, it just seemed like weeks, maybe even. I mean, life went on, but it was like people were an autopilot. At least I, I feel like I was. Mm. Uh, but I just, what I really do, what really sticks out to me is like the, the years, like the, the couple of years after that, where it's just, I, I was uh, going to work, I was, it was my first job, at, it was in Manhattan, and I used to always yeah. take a train that would overlook that site. Oh, wow. And you could see the lights, like the people working and stuff. Jeez. And uh, it was just so like sad. Just and every day I would just come home and just look there. Just whenever I would cross the, the Manhattan Bridge, that's where my train would cross. So you, you know it's very elevated, obviously, because it's a big bridge. And you could see like you could see uh, it's from a distance, so you can't really make anybody out. But you could see people working on it. So it, yeah, it was it was just surreal and just the looks on people's faces. I don't I don't know if people, I feel like people were just sort of sleepwalking for a while, just sort of like in, in shock. I imagine that's how soldiers feel like when they're in battle. Yeah. Hey, what's, what's up, bottle? Yeah, and I'm just talk, talking about my sort of like perspective on what happened uh, 9 11, just because I don't really, I can't really talk about anybody else. Cause he has their own story. Some people. Oh yeah, yeah of course. I, I mean, luckily I didn't lose anybody. Um, my friend's uh, dad actually worked in the towers, but he was he was off that day. Wow. Working for him. Yeah. So like, it's I don't know. It's like one of those things where it's just it's crazy. But yeah, I just remember the feeling afterwards. It was very surreal. You know, just sort of like like what the fuck just happened. And it was it lasted for like years. It was just sort of like people were just sort of in this weird shock. Yeah. Um but you know, even now twenty years later I'm just still like you know, because I remember seeing those towers back in the day, you know. Yeah. You know, wherever you would go Manhattan, like like well Manhattan obviously not not like 
I'm down on it. What the hell is it? But if you, whenever you go to the corner of Manhattan, let's say, I would go to CBGB's or something like that, you'd always used to see those buildings, and you know, you're so like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. You know, they're just there. You just kind of sort of took them for granted, you know, in a way. Um, but, you know, after that, it's, uh, after they went down, and, you know, just people were like, ah, oh, they're really gone. Bones, come in. Do you copy? There's still a big hole in the skyline. I mean, they have that one, you know, the, the one water center, but it's like, it's not two yeah. buildings, it's just one building. Still weird. Anyway, so, you know, it's just, it sucks. I'm sure tomorrow when I go to the show, it's going to be like people talking about it more. What the hell is it? It's going to be more surreal, and hmm. it's going to really hit me more. Like, today I'm just sort of, um, I was going to go to the show today, but I just figured kind of don't want to for some Rose, reason. come in. Do you copy? Like, um, whatever. Even though there's a band I find that I want to see. But that's okay. I'll see. Oh, yeah. Smooth okay. operator. Okay. Right. But when yeah, I go I tomorrow, uh, I it'll, it'll hit me more, I'm sure. Rose. Well, mm. I called him in to find a key fragment, and they did. Yeah, I've always thought I like, wondered what your, uh, what your day was like on that day, but so never wanted to really bring it up. So, no, it's okay. No worries. Uh, yeah, I'm not. It's this. not something that like um, we call super sensitive rolls. about. Like, hmm. It's actually good to talk about, it. but um, nothing crazy happened to me personally or anybody that I know. So Still I don't memories? know if uh, I mean, you know who, I should feel that? good about that, or I guess I should. <laughs> act like I can do it all, baby. But at the same time, <laughs> it just feels like. You know, there's plenty of people that were affected. And it's like, how do you deal with this? You know, it's like such a, such a big scale. You know, it's not like a small attack or something. A couple of people died or something. You know, it's a big thing. It's a big thing. There's a lot of people that affect Go on. The only way I could, the rogue side of world. Just the I could really, what I, there's only I could say about it. But my, my day was just sort of, I kind of described my day. It was, it was just very, it was very, um, sort of like, it was kind of normal, but it turned into anything but normal, obviously, because yeah. of what happened. <clears throat> but, you know, it, it it took me like a, at least a day or two to really fully grasp everything after watching all the news reports and such. Hmm. Yeah, that's sort of like what I mean, I think that the, <sighs> the biggest thing that sticks out to you, because I didn't really like, see the attacks live, like at least not like in person. Oh, okay. But. The biggest thing that sticks out to me is just sort of like how the city was affected. Uh, you know, what, what happened. And, uh, yeah, that's something I will definitely always remember. Just people just sort of being almost in shock. Yeah. That's uh, like the difference between somebody who lives in your city and somebody who doesn't. Yeah. Like the I would say that. Too. Like a lot of people have hit me up, hit me up that day actually, because uh, you, you had like MySpace at that point. I don't think Facebook was around still. It was MySpace. All right. So I remember I came home and I logged in on Facebook, and that's where you like, kind of went to discuss things, because you didn't have like anything else really. No Twitter, nothing like that. Maybe it's a couple, of, maybe AIM, but you know, like my, um, you know, cell phones weren't really working that well because. Uh, just people were jamming them up, calling the up ones. Yeah. You know. So, sorry guys, I know this started taking so long, and I don't want to this this, this uh, stream to be very miserable for you guys. But uh, I don't know. I just figured, you know, since Ryan wanted to know, I'll sit and talk about it because I never actually talked about it before. I didn't talk about it last year on the anniversary. Uh, I just sort of put I actually put it out of my mind last year. I just like, you know. A lot of things mm. are going on. There's COVID. You know, I don't want to think about that because that's, that's, that's even more depressing. You know, depression. You know, I'm top of depression. <laughs> but now that thing, things are kind of getting back to normal, then you know, you have to really look at what matters. And yeah, that's a pretty significant part of the city. But yeah, I I don't think anybody who doesn't live here can really get it. No. Because they never really seen. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was, that's what I meant when I said um, like people in your town would be the ones who yeah. don't know what it really felt like. It's like me reacting to the the Munich disaster. 
Or even you, really, because you never really lived through it. Like, it's tragic, and, you know, it's like something you you want to remember, but, yeah. but you never you never really, you didn't live through it live. It's, no. it's very different from people who lived it live. Because you're watching yeah. it on TV, it's like you're watching a horrible movie. Yeah, in a way, yeah. It's, uh, you know, my, my, my mom was describing, my mom thought it was like some kind of movie playing on TV. Yeah. She thought it was like Independence Day, because that came out like uh, around that time. <gasps> yeah, um, to be honest, the way you, you, you described the day at the start was like pretty much how it was here, because with the first plane, everybody thought it was an accident and it was a little plane. Mm hmm. And then we saw the second one on TV, like live, and then it was yeah. like, oh shit, this, this is by design. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, even even people here, I'm sure a lot of people, you know, like, didn't really get everything that happened until, like, you know, they really came to terms with it. But, you know. The city continues, you know, as much as they wanted to, whatever. whatever they were, they were aiming to do with that attack, obviously it didn't work. You can never break New York. Uh, hmm? You can never break New York. Uh, you can, but, uh, I mean, you shouldn't, but... I think people forgot about it. I feel like this in the twenty years since then there's just been so much like, different politics and all that kind of stuff. Which I don't really like to talk about. Oh well, my guy is not happy. No. <laughs> anyway, uh I don't know, I just feel like I feel like people were together a lot more at that at that point in time. You know what I mean? Like yeah. people were like nice to each other and you know it's, I feel like that sort of went away a bit. I think you have to go up there. It's fast travel to where I am. Yeah, that's so good. Started. I feel like now things sort of went backwards. It's like what you said about social media. Back then there wasn't really. Yeah. It's true. I think, uh, I don't know. I, I'm trying to find a word. Sometimes it's hard to really put things in perspective about yeah. how I feel about it. Obviously, it's it's a, you know, not a good thing, but it's like... I don't know, there was some good things out of it. Like I said, people were very like, nice to each other. I just felt like people were really... There was a lot of pride in the city, you know. Just, yeah. I just sort of seen it go backwards. Which is not something you want to see, but you know, all the writing and stuff. I'm not saying that it's wrong or right. I'm not gonna make uh, that kind of comment just because, uh, like I said, you know, it's, yeah. uh, it's, it's um, it's complicated. I just put it this way. Uh, I mean, like, like any country's politics, you know, there's really no, um, there's really nobody that's hundred percent right or wrong. You know, I, I have to look at both sides of most issues, and it's like, you know, obviously, like something where one side is totally in the wrong. For example, you know. But yeah, it's, it's, it was definitely not fun time to live here. But yeah, like I remember um, watching an interview like uh, with uh, somebody from England. I forgot, I forgot which town they were from. I think it was from London. <gasps> and he was just saying how they missed the camaraderie like that they shared together just because they felt like everybody was like taking care of each other, even though it was this horrible thing where you know, like London was getting bombed on a daily basis and stuff, stuff yeah. like that. You know, people just felt like, according to that guy, I don't know, I wasn't alive back then. Just like we want, you know, some people weren't around for 9/11. I was not around for that, obviously. Yeah. So, but you know, from what I hear, people were a lot more. Um, just nicer to each other. I don't know. That's the best way I can put it. But, you know, think time as a way of, uh, you know, I guess healing things. Yeah, that was what I said. So, 
hopefully people will put their defenses aside at least for a while because you know how people are <laughs> yeah unfortunately and uh, just sort of focus on I don't know just be nice to each other for a bit if it's not expecting too much <laughs> <laughs> life is too short to not be hey we surprised people just <laughs> anyway all right, guys. Uh, yeah, so let's let's just switch. I don't know. I'll I'll let you know how tomorrow's atmosphere is. I'm gonna go to to see some bands, and I'm sure it'll be brought up a bunch of times. Too much money, not enough. Like an impromptu plug. Plug, sorry. Um, I'll, if there's any speeches or anything made by any bands, I'll try to document them. Oh, no. That way, you can you can kind of get the feel a little bit of what you know. Mm. How it is here. I'm sure there will be some. A lot of people, you know, know like, mm -hmm. firefighters. And the rest of that go. Other people. So yeah, before we um, before we started streaming tonight, I was watching something about a firefighter who um, he survived the building coming down. He was in like uh -huh. an air pocket, an elevator, uh, not an elevator, uh, like stairwell. He survived mm -hmm. in there. That's fucking hell! I think he was here in the seven hours. chat. Sorry, I had to cut you off. No. Anyway. No, sorry, I probably should uh, separate that. Keep you talking, though. But yeah, that's just uh, what I was doing before I went live. I was watching that. I think it was called Tim Brown, I think it was. Uh huh. The firefighter, but yeah. He was in the tower when it came down and mm -hmm. survived. Yeah, I was. Um, when I was working on the newspaper, I was. Uh, so, you see what I put in my chat? Both, yeah. both left. Both left. Yeah. Check that out. Okay. I'm not gonna tell you what it's about. Uh, I mean, you probably figured it out. By, yeah. Uh, by the name, maybe. Wait, is, there, is there like a weapon? That's like a. Ooh, hey. What's going on over here? <laughs> oh, you got it. You're the gunner class. You have a. Some oh. kind of a legendary uh, mod here. Let's see. That's why I'm in the shack. Anyway, check out the bolt lift. It's uh, one of the more feel good stories on that day. Okay. I, th I think it'll give you maybe a bit of a faith in humanity. <laughs> That's a head. Is this it? Yeah, it's the, um, like, is it a ferry? This or, it's like a tourist boat, maybe. Yeah, um, well, I could, I could describe what it is. Uh, do you want me to spoil it for you, or you want to, like, just check it out uh, and, um, sort of view it organically and just sort of, like, see what I'll you I'll check think it out, it. but I, f I, f I think I, I know how, um, it's gonna go. I think it's somebody a bit like you know Dunkirk. Yeah. You know what happened there? Is it something like that. Uh, okay, so uh, I guess I'll tell you. It's fine. Uh, basically, okay. around the time it happened, um, people were what's it called uh, stuck stuck on on, on Manhattan because Manhattan's an island. <laughs> yeah. Case people are forgetting it, uh, you know. To get to Brooklyn or New Jersey or Queens, which is the only borough you get to the Bronx too, but also that's you, know, you have to take a bridge. You have to take a bridge everywhere. To Brooklyn, you have to take either the Brooklyn Bridge, the uh, the Battery Tunnel, which is called something else now, Hugh Carry Tunnel. Nobody calls it that way. We still call it Battery Tunnel. Cause it's not anyway, uh, so you know, like basically, Manhattan is an island. I'm sure most people know it, but you know, it's sort of like one of those things where you know it, it is, but you're like, what? You, know, you don't fully get it, maybe, or, you know, it is. Yeah. So, the fact, being an island, you know, kind of uh, stranded a lot of people in Manhattan. And 
that's all I'm gonna say. So sort of um, just check it, check out the documentary. Okay. Just uh, hit me up afterwards. It's okay. called Bolt Lift. It's not a long okay. one. It's like uh, I think like 15 to 20 minutes. That's fine. I'll, I'll give you a watch. Yeah, just uh, check it out. Uh, like I said, it's uh, it's a feel good story. It's kind of you know just people coming together. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> But I want you. Ah. It was love that I could just spell it out. I just don't want. I just kind of want people to um, check it out without me yeah. spoiling it or putting my opinions, uh, you know, in, into it. Sort of, you know, just just check it out anyway, and see what you see what you think. Okay, what do we need to go? With it? it says over there, but I don't see anything. Is it up here on this roof, maybe. Maybe. And come back. How are you doing, Renee? Mark? <laughs> Greenwood? Jonathan? Hey, what's up, guys? Hope you're out. Hope I didn't bomb you guys out too much. My stuff. Oh, no. Whatever. It, it, you know, it happened. I still live here. I lived there when it happened. So, you know, I just wanted to tell my story, sort of, you know. It is what it is. Oh, you got you got to equip the weapon, by the way. Oh right, okay. Uh, yeah. weapon. You see that? Yeah. I don't know why I have to equip this weapon, but you got it. Maybe maybe then it'll the story will. Uh... Okay, got it. Okay, so. I have no idea what we need to do. <laughs> but, uh, Shoot yeah, this one. Simon. Oh yeah, uh, sorry, I'm just gonna pin you. Uh, sorry, I didn't, I didn't pin your link. Now I yeah. How's everybody doing, by the way? Hopefully everybody's having a good time. Uh, we barely just started. We haven't even done anything in the game. No, we've been there. Uh... Learning you want to move the stop or what do you want to do? Uh, yeah. Another beautiful day in the military. I'm not, not, not 100% sure what we need to do. <laughs> I thought it was on the roof too, but I, I didn't see anything when I got up there. Okay, let's see. <laughs> But yeah, like when I watch like uh, Hillsborough disaster or something like that, like, I get it, but it doesn't really like register with me now. Like, like the same way you yeah. register with somebody who went through it or you know who was there. That's the best I could put. Yeah, Ooh. it's 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 like what you said. Your mum said it's like Independence Day or something. It's like you're just yeah. watching something unbelievable happen. It's it's not something you could grasp even when it's happening. It's like uh, no. You, you gotta step back and really analyze it, but yeah, it's, it's If anybody else in the chat wants to chime in, I don't think there's any New Yorkers here, but you know, if you grew up in a different state, what was your reaction, different country, whatever. Or if you guys don't want to talk about it, it's fine. It's, it's kind of a bummer. <laughs> so, no worries. I don't, I, don't, I don't expect anybody to, you know. What are we shooting at? <laughs> Do you know what's going on? You, you. No. <laughs> How quick the rock's like gonna look through the scope to see the hidden mark? Okay. Where the f. Shoot the rock like sides um, marks. Let's see. Oh, what was that game you <sighs> played before where you had to look, like line it up? Oh, um. Tap, tap. Sonoa, Revenge? That might be it. Yeah, that was a good game. I liked it. It was, it was one of those games that sort of like went under the radar a bit. But I see actually people play it. Yeah. Bigger YouTubers. Oh. Um. Sorry. Oh. 
Yeah, we're looking for like a little oh, orange. I see it. Disc. I just shot. Come on. Hey, nice. Okay. Now let's go shoot the other. Go get him. Vault thief, need your help. See, we're victims of our own success. Remember that bit where Troy her super murdered your siren friend? Well, how do we top it? I don't know. Do we kill how some puppies? Right kill some puppies? Cram a bunch of puppies in a orphanage and burn it to the ground? It's a dilemma. What's gonna nice. keep the offerings flowing? Oh, Ty, maybe we'll let our followers decide. Yeah, they should have made these uh, bad guys a lot Love it. Gotta run, super fan. Right. The great vault beckons. Yeah, there's a lot of soon, like. I think they, they wanted people to hate him, but I think I hate him all the wrong reasons. That kind of way. <laughs> you want to hate the bad guy because he's such a good bad guy, you know? You know, you, you watch the movie, you're just like, man, that guy is fucking, you know, really selling the bad guy role. Yeah. Yeah, these guys aren't. <laughs> They're just annoying. They seem like content creators that I wouldn't want to watch. <laughs> like my <on> YouTube. <laughs> yeah, basically. I think that's what they're going for, because like, you know, the whole like uh, filming themselves. One of my crew stuff. must have left something nearby. Yeah. Well, Look down the, the, side the scope edge the game has made. I can just imagine him doing a thumbnail with like a wide open mouth, pretending to be shocked at something. Alright, yeah. Sometimes I watch stuff on YouTube, I'm like, I could never do this. <laughs> but I'll just do the things I want. That's a good use, yeah. Oh, oh you shot him? Okay. I was talking to Keefe yesterday about my like, YouTube. He was just oh, talking about how, like, you know, I just gotta keep going. You know? Sometimes it just feels like you're not making any progress. Yeah. I felt that too, I mean, just, just sort of like, I don't know, yeah, like, basically, sometimes I would just stream and just be like a few people in the chat. And you're just like, hmm. okay, how am I gonna muster? The enthusiasm, <laughs> you know, to uh, you know, he's yeah, gotta do yeah. it. Oh yeah, I was watching him uh, keep playing Black Panther. Man about town. Which show? It's pretty good. Yeah, uh, Black Panther. Oh yeah, I was watching last night. Yeah. What do you think? I don't know, I like the rest of it. I'm not really big on superhero games, but it's actually really good class. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of games, those games either. I'm not gonna mm. lie. I've got one of the Spider-Man games. My brother got me it, but I've never played it. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I like Marvel's my hours. That was a cool game. Uh, was it the best no, game it was the one before that, I think. Yeah. Keep shooting those marks, Vault Hunter. Yeah, it's uh, not really my thing to be honest, still to hear games. Um, yeah, not really. I mean, I like it. I, I kind of like them because they're epic, usually, and I like epic stuff. Hmm. But, yeah, it's not really my cup of tea. But I, I am kind of interested in. Uh, Spider-Man 2. It's, uh, right. Is it PS5 exclusive or is it... Um, uh, I'm not it? sure. Uh, I think they're going to start coming out with more PS5 games. Uh, because... Uh, All right. It's just easier to create it for one system than uh, hmm. a bunch. Give me a second. Alright. I'm just going to use the restroom. Be right back again. No worries. I'm great, thanks Renee, I hope you are. Hey, Mix. I liked your video earlier, mate. That um, trick shot you did was awesome.
Hey, Jonathan. How you doing, mate? Do we still need to use the this weapon? Yeah. Yeah. No. Um. I'm really looking forward to God of War. Welcome to the Amber Mine. That's gonna look awesome on PS5. Oh, whose name I don't remember. Line the swamp with oil rigs. But now, <laughs> it looks awesome anyway. But on a new generation console, anyway, it's gonna look even better. Anyway, the rogue base should be up ahead. Yeah, it's gonna. Be we need to make contact with my crew leader Archimedes. He'll sort this all out. I think when I when I played the first one, uh, I didn't play with the optimized version. Because I was playing in 720p because uh, we tried to steal that's all my computer. Firearms from Montgomery Jacobs himself. It wasn't. Archimedes uh, made it out all right, but I got caught. Instead of throwing me an anvil, Wayne Wright's daddy offered me a job. I've been working for the Jacobs Corporation ever since. Montgomery Jacobs taught me that everyone has a price. Want to survive this shitstorm of a galaxy? I'm actually gonna rewatch the. I, I missed a couple of games that I were uh, presented in the showcase. Yeah. There's this one game that's kind of a cartoon game. That's kind of interesting. It kind of reminded me of Breath of the Wild. Kind of Bet the corporations wish they thought. I know you talk, well, I'm not talking about the Malcontents. The Air Breezes of the Galaxy like yesterday's dead skin. Just saying. And she goes on an adventure. She can transform into bird. Or, or something just to get to the puzzles. Yeah, I gotta check out Forspoken. You just tell me about it this morning. I didn't even look at it yet. I'm sure it's gonna be a lot of good games. I would say Sony has a really good lineup of games. Hopefully, a lot more people will have a PlayStation at that point. Right? Because, uh, you know, eventually, that's where, like, you get the best PlayStation games come out. I think they're gonna still do the cross plat cross platforming for uh, at least uh, maybe another year or two. But eventually it's gonna be a cut. That's what you're gonna really see right and then pushing it down into the system. Because I think it's when they when they do cross platforming it's cool that you get a lot of older players on board and give a chance to play the new game. But uh, it does dilute the games that are coming out because uh, they have to sort of uh, put them out with the late, later, uh, the older generation in mind, <coughs> which means they have to dumb the graphics down a bit. So all the exclusive ones like Ratchet and Clank, uh, that book is going to look awesome because that's like an exclusive. Movie. You're going to see a big step up in graphics. In graphics. Maybe some of those games will be ported back, but I'm really hoping they don't really. I'm really hoping that they focus on the new system, you know. Yeah, this, this should be. Uh, I'm not saying they should leave out, you know, get all owners in the fold. Hopefully, uh, you know, they'll give people a chance to get the PS4 that, by that point, so like everybody will have it, or at least, they be close now. you know, a good yep, portion of it. You can use the rogue yeah. site to find it. <clears throat> All right, getting closer. Get on in and find our shoot the city. 
does sound okay. <laughs> no worries, man. Could be here. Damn, it's dark. See if you can get the lights on. Archimedes! Where the hell are you, man? Don't like the looks of this. We'll see if you can make sense of the mess. <laughs> Reminds me of my first piano recital. Damn, that's Cassie. Best smuggler in the rogues. At least she was. Forget his name, but guess it don't matter now. They're gonna put the candy back in that pinata. Me and that fella used to be the pride of the vastlands. Now he's just cold cuts and guts. Um, how did you get the... Uh, I just jumped jump? down by it. I'm gonna go back to where you went. I think there's gonna uh, something up there. Yeah, you gotta find the last one up here. Yeah. Where did everybody go? Is everybody gone to Joe Street? Um, I don't think it's true. Hard to make out the face, but that's Archimedes' ID. Guess he's really gone. Grab a security ID, Vault Hunter. No, nope, not yet. We might need it. Check the security console. I'm doing it up here. Let's take a look. Uh, when's Archimedes coming back? Said to hunker down. Uh, Extraction ain't happening there. today. Maybe tomorrow. I don't think it's you. How long does he think we can keep this fragment hidden? Swamp's crawling with COB. Hey, what the hell? How did they find us? What the fuck? Someone got the drop on my rogues and took the fragment, but I ain't no detective. Good thing I've got something pretty damn close. Hit that button over there. See, from time to time, a smuggler needs to drop his cargo in a hurry. So, the rogues use a special loot tracker, designed it myself. With that baby, we can hunt down lost cargo across the entire planet. But in this case, we're gonna track down that fragment and the traitor who stole it. So Damn, that poop is going to be that. very See, like uh, has a security ID you like die a lot in the beginning, but every that time you die, you, man it's sort of like a returnal. Looks like whoever killed my rogue is smart enough to take the rest of their IDs. Good thing I still got a few yeah. live agents in the field. I don't know. You need to get their IDs before we can activate the loot tracker. It's gonna be uh, something you're watching for us. He's the closest. Make contact with D while I alert the others on a secure line and tell them you're coming. Okay, I think it's down there somewhere. Let's go. Agent D is a master of disguise. I, know, I hope you like it. And traps. I'm looking forward to it. A hell of a pole I'm sure ah. people will. Which is more useful in this galaxy than you might think. Um, You'll see. Agent D's been running a honeypot. He's got them sealed in the time. Until you see them to break cover, those bandits won't let them make it. Dumb bandits fell to Tyrene because no one else here loved them or looked at them. But that ain't a reason to burn down the galaxy. Get him. I'm gonna try a different weapon.
Tough time. Yeah, I've killed them. Oh, shit, I'm dead. Okay. My gun sort of blew me up. <laughs> oh, fuck. Why were you shooting? <laughs> I just wanted to try it out and it was uh, pretty up here. Oh, hello there. Now you know how they do. Tap tap me for being a schlag. Some reason my chat uh, <laughs> was like showing zero for a second. Give it five minutes and eighteen, they'll be coming to say why we're playing the game. How are you doing, quiet? Have some money. Now, why not spend it? Shoot more, shop markers. <laughs> Appreciate it, quiet. Thanks for liking it. Thank you guys. We don't thank you guys enough. But we take that's a black dog. I'm worried where this is going now. I've <laughs> gone there. I'm gonna eat it. It's gone out of my mouth. <laughs> oh god. Got so much of this already, I've got like 600. Yeah, we're getting a lot from this event. I was watching, uh, you ever seen the video of Hogan's? That way I watch. Yeah. <laughs> kind of dumb. I was watching people's reactions to it, like, people don't normally watch football. Just, like, ah, right. Like I like stuff like that just to kind of see. Yeah, some stuff Sometimes I like to uh, is see people's reactions to. Oh, that's a CL4PTP hard disk slot. Perfect. That'll help my new friend store all her new memories of spending time only with me. My favorite one is football, the beautiful game. <laughs> I'm sure, I've seen that video. Is that like um? It shows the big moments. <laughs> like when to help people get resuscitated and stuff with it. No, no, no. This is more like uh, just. I, I'll send you the video. I don't know if you want to okay. see the action. Or just, like, I don't know. I don't know. I'll watch it all. <laughs> It'll be certain moments that I've said it to you. I'll show you now if you feel those moments. Where are Reminded me actually, Premier League's back tomorrow, thank god. Yeah. I know. <laughs> we need to get a win tomorrow. Yeah. Is team playing tomorrow? Uh, I gotta, I gotta check the schedule of uh, who's playing when. I, I haven't. 
throughout the uh, international break, I just sort of like uh, show us. I don't know really what you play. Yeah, you play tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Oh. Uh, 10 a.m. your time? Yeah, it's gonna be a second game on. Well, my weekend's gonna be really shit. Uh, okay. uh, not that I'm, a, gonna not that I'm paying my, all my hopes on Arsenal being Norwich. Maybe I'll not take exactly, a breather. Uh, they should be beating tomorrow. I've got to start winning some time, aren't I'm not gonna get relegated by people like today. Nah. It's just people like to, like, you know, the team loses a couple of games, like, oh, that's it, they're done. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, I... Pretty game. Pay attention! It's not going to be around again. I, I'm not expecting much from the season, by the way. So, if people come to bed with me, I really don't care. Because my expectations are all over the people. And that's not because I don't like Oswald, it's because I know what it, what it is. I think the signings are going to come good eventually. Yeah, they will. Uh, hopefully Sean O'Farty is going to um, be healthy because he's a big part of that big deal. Oh, yeah, he's the, he's the, uh, the engine of the team. In the way, when he was, when he was healthy, like, he went at our best. What a relief. Agent D is alive and up to his dreams. People look too much at price tags, I think. I think so too. I mean, I don't know anything about the Japanese guy. I forget his name. I need to write it. I will write it, of course. I'm not gonna lie and say I know anything about him. Or, you know, what kind of player he is. But, hey, you know what? It's a clean slate for me. If, he's a, if he turns out to be great, who cares if he spends any money? It's not my money. If I saw someone spend that kind of money on him, and they rate him that much, then I'll see. Yeah, some good players have come out of Japan lately. Yeah. I mean, our best ever product came out of Japan. Ultimately. Yeah, true. Sure. I remember back in the day when people were like, basically, uh, like, who the hell is this guy? You with Clay? <laughs> A lot of wrong. Sure. That's why I don't really listen to people who listen to people who listen to people. Sorry if you're talking about too much about football guys, I don't matter if you hear them. Maybe we could put a right, a one height range of the talking topics. <laughs> we maybe try to, I mean, I don't know. If you guys have any topics you guys want to discuss, just put them in the chat. You know, that's important. So, so what we do is address whatever. It's just sometimes we, we don't really have much to talk about. So we just like football. We both kind of bonded over that. Because it seems so much. But, you know, that kind of uh, is the one reason why we would have you. Show me what you got, little boy. But it's not what you're We yeah, bonded over If you want to go deeper, you know, like ask some fine take, you know, like stuff like that. Yeah. I came over to his channel because I like his passion. He was in the United Fan. I was like, I want to watch yeah. yeah. you know. yeah. It's the same. I, I like to listen to people just talking Smooth football. It doesn't really matter what club. Now it's time to track down I subscribe to every single channel you went to Tottenham channel. Yeah. I like expressions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was about to say, it's like, Let's check his it's actually much better than to. some of the United channels. <laughs> Yeah. I just like. You really make me laugh. Obviously, I like watching him when they lose. The language, right? That's on me, my bad. He's on AFTV a lot. Yeah, yeah, that's another one. AFTV, how he got him? Yeah, I I watch him too after, because for me it's different. She's sort of like somebody else who feels the pain. Yeah. Obviously, I was supposed to use obviously. I don't even know how to get there. Uh, I don't know why the whole mission is like around. I'm going to the rogues trying to COV. I'm going undercover to investigate. Find me and we'll share intel. 
Yes, we shouldn't quite be. Okay, yeah, no, no worries, Quint. I know you are. Like I said, if you guys want to talk about something, always put it in the chat. We'll, we'll discuss it, people. We don't mind. We're always looking for different topics. Well, at least I am looking for different topics. I don't know about Ryan. I'm assuming he's also. I don't want to speak for him there, so. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to bounce off with anything I'll let you drive. <laughs> I always talk about anything, you know. It doesn't have to always be about games. Sometimes we want to talk about whatever. That's why we like when we played Detroit and everybody was like talking about different things. Even though some people were getting upset, <sighs> it's kind of interesting for me to see people's reactions. Cause, yeah. Which is kind of weird because that's what the game is sort of try was trying to do. Because, you know, at the end of the day, just got those guys were robots. So I expected people just to sort of like not have any feelings. The no, sign no. of a good game. Yeah. It can evoke that many different emotions. That is true, that, that is why I was really into it. Someone definitely sold out the rogues, Clay. See, I infiltrated an offshoot of the Reekwater gang called the Mudnicks. Turns out Aurelia Hammerlock offered one of the rogues the Eden 7 system in exchange for a key fragment. Don't know who yet. If you don't hear from me, buddy, then assume the worst. I'm either dead or captured. But come find me anyway. I do it for you. But yeah, I don't usually try to. I don't even Life watch like any previews of matches. We go way back. Just because I don't. Oh, really? I like to come into matches without like, having anybody else opinion in my head. Yeah. But that's just me. We, we, do, we should come back here and kill this guy. Let's just kill. Okay. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll come back. Maybe it's just Asian being a uh, game that has no... Uh, well, it, it does have DLCs, but we're not going to get them for now anyway. For a while. Yeah. So maybe we can Wait, focus more on a side mission. Yeah. Well, we'll see. They both, you know, have a kind of schedule and stuff. Better now. You stop me. Hey, lovely. You got some cocoa? Oh, nice. I actually saw had some cocoa the other day. For some reason, I never drink cocoa, but like uh, I just had some mix, and I was like, hmm, I need to make it. I can't wait to drink cocoa. That means it's cold. Yeah, I like autumn weather. My favorite. Thing. Oh, me too. I call it Halloween weather. <laughs> Yeah, okay. No, it, it makes sense. No. <laughs> oh, man. Quick, find some cover. A traitor used quiet for the trap to kill you. So I feel like you're having a conversation and people kind of chat and having their own conversation. So I really mean to. It's good that people are talking to each other. Damn it! How are the traders gonna pay? Look around where Quiet Foot used to be. His ID should still be there. 
That's what I want. Guess I'll give it a whack! Oh yeah, well that's currently the case. Doing these weapons just yeah. All right, we just need one more ID. Well, time to head to the docks and find my buddy Domino, best sharpshooter in the Edens and polite as pie. It's his thing. I hope Domino's alive. Not many rogues left. <laughs> no, we really mean it. Kind of cool that you guys are you know, all sort of like have your own little color. Couldn't even it. dent that thing. Yep, I just want to get some. Strangers that are just here watching. Nah. I see you coming, Bob. Everyone's Hunter. respectful. Like said he was working with some serious muscle. Yeah, friendly. I'm in a secure oh, location That's overlooking a dock full of COV. Need some help clearing them out. We'll talk after. Being hey. Yeah, we don't want no bad eggs. Yeah. Because <laughs> you can ruin things. There's no point of it either. If people think um, that I really want their subscriptions and they're going to be a, a death roll, okay. I want people who are cool. How's your days going? Check out those COV. Got you covered. Good luck. Have a good day. Have a good day. Mark, how are you? Doing it, yeah. Mark. Oh, a chat, it, yeah. Ah, okay, it's that one. How you doing, mate? Hey, I didn't see you yet. I'm not sure. I'm yeah. Oh, it's not like I'm ready. Uh, I can come on, bro. Anybody who's here, well, anybody who um, would want to watch that Drop game, and it's the most people. Please the find most. some cover, Vault Hunter. Um, I was thinking about doing that little hope game, uh, basically, for this season. I think it's like, not the people to um, uh, Man of Madame, but it's like uh, by the same people. So I was, I was gonna ask if you guys want to see it. I'll try to pick a few of them if you guys want to Out and about! Play one of my I could probably knock that game out of the field. I'm not sure how I'll make that game. Uh, hopefully, with the PlayStation, I'll make that game. Nice killing! Those dropships I'm used to the layout, and I have to think about the length of time. Let me know if you guys want me to. Uh, so, I Do set that up a ship scanner so I can track the so. shipments. Or you want us to you know it, continue that playing ship scanner's Waterland. broken. You're gonna have to climb that crane to fix the darn thing and get it into position. Then I can track the ship. Appreciate it. Okay. 
ship scanner. Uh, <sighs> yeah, what do we do? Shoot it? No way up there. I don't think we need to shoot it. <laughs> okay, so. You guys see me play Man of Medan. That game where it's like on a boat and you go down and it's like a hunted ship. Okay, there's a, I got the sequel to that game. I think I was talking about it uh, a while back. So I have it. Sitting right there. In fact. Anyway, sorry. The point is, I was just asking you guys if you guys want to want me to play it. Some people say they don't care, but I just wanted to ask you guys anyway. Just you know, just to see if you guys would want to just play that game. Or you, would you want me to uh, maybe play this game more, I don't know. or just take a day out? Again. You'll get to that scanner. Thanks a bundle. So that's what I'm saying. No pressure, guys. Oh, am I far away from the mic? I apologize. It's not that I'm, I'm far from the microphone, it's just that my... Sometimes I leave my headset up, just because, like... I don't know if I need it, but apparently I do. So... Hopefully this is better. Yeah, okay, so you would like to watch it, guys. Uh, you, Ryan, would you? <laughs> I'm throwing it to you also. Okay, so all right, so I'll play it on uh, Sunday because uh, I know some of you guys like to take Saturday off. Plus, I'm not going to be here on Saturday too, so I'll take that day off also. So basically, we could do it on Sunday. Just have like, just do something different. Then Ryan and I will will see about this game. Yep. We'll see if we want to finish it or take our time with it. You know, it's one of those things. You know me, I'm easy. I just like I like you to uh, decide, Bartlin. I know, but I kind of want you to, you know, be more safe. <laughs> just because, because I like, I want to know, like, because I don't, you know, like what what you want. Let's go. Cool. All right, fair to enough. Me, I'm, I'm happy to finish this game and then park it until um, the DLC. Yeah, the DLC. <laughs> Yeah, we could always go back to the DLC. Uh, I will be getting the Tiny Tina game. Uh, I don't know if it's two players, but maybe we'll see. If it's two players, if it's co-op, then it'll be even better. One sec, I'm just gonna check the dog. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think Ryan said yes. <laughs> That's what I'm, I gather it from that conversation. Okay, so then Sunday I will be playing like around this time. Well, not this time, but like around 4.30 my time. I will be playing that game. No, it's not a Tiny Tina DLC. It's a full Tiny Tina game. Yeah, pop check. <laughs> no, they're, they're releasing a full game with her. It's not just the DLC. But yeah, uh, the DLC was sort of like... What's, most likely we will be expecting for that game. Ah, fuck. Like just, I'm, I'm, exp I'm predicting it to be, uh, for it to be very absurd. Kind of like the DLC was. Which is a good thing, because this franchise is all about that. Lots of games coming out. Uh, I need I need to watch the um, the event, the PlayStation event uh, back and just uh, look at the games. It's gonna be probably a lot of good ones. I'm gonna be like just pick. I want this. I want that. I might be broke by the end of the year, guys. <laughs> might be ha might be asking you guys <laughs> for your help. Nah, I'm just asking. Listen, not really. But I will be playing a lot of the games. No, nah, it's not a DLC. It's actually like, like her own game. No, 
<laughs> no, the games are actually kind of spaced out. I'm not gonna actually spend that much money. I already have like a couple of games that I'm buying full full price. Uh, you know, um, your Far Cry sixes and your um, Death Loops. Not to be confused with the serial. No, that was, that was a stupid joke. Never mind. Death Loops from Calyx. No, I, yeah, I think that book you guys will like. It's def, it's it's sort of um, a game where you do die a lot, but it's uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was just trying to explain <sighs> that loop sort of. Well, other games that we play, gonna be a lot. Yeah, the Tiny Tina one, I can't wait. Uh, it just came up as a pre-order, but I'm gonna wait to see a lot more from the game before I, I jump at the ch- at the pre-order. Thing. Yeah. Sounds good. That's our uh, plan. Yeah, but I'll, I'll probably get it uh, just because I like what I like this franchise. It's. Oh yeah. For me, it's like very interesting. I don't understand what what do you have to do here? Ship scanner. Are we supposed to be using that gun? Possibly. Because it uh, says up, but then I, when I climb on this thing, it's like level. Um, not really seeing anything. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Quiet knows what's up. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Gotta get up there somehow, I think. Yeah, I, I got up there, but it didn't set to go down, so it's, that's kind of weird. <laughs> so anyway, that game was all about, like, you die, and then you learn more, and then you sort of, um... Basically, you have to, uh, you're in this town where um, all the events just keep looping every single day. So you have to kind of stop the cycle by killing these seven guys. And you have this woman who wants things to be the same. And you can either play it on your own or have another person control that woman. And you're kind of haunting each other. So. I think we found it. You found it? <sighs> Must have jammed. Did yeah. you kick it or something? Oh, Thanks again. I hate these sickos and you're a real help. Oh shit. Well. Yeah, it's kind of Groundhog Day, but your character keeps dying to come back. Maybe this is an awesome show that has But yeah, it's, it kind of reminds me of, um, what's that game, um, Returnal. But it's a lot more forgiving from what I gathered. Well, by forgiving, I mean you still start, you still die, and you have to start from the beginning. But eventually, you get more power-ups that will give you more chances of uh, killing. Basically, you have to complete the mission. You have to kill all the guys. Down a we'll see what happens. I'm gonna stick and shoot COV. But that game is coming on the 14th, so three more days. <laughs> What's that? Ready, Ready Mike. Humping? <laughs> uh, maybe. Depends where your mind's at. Crown Humps Day. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different type of game. I'm up for that. You always are. That's all the IDs. <laughs> nice work, Vault Hunter. Now back to Rogue's Hollow. I've corrupted Rene. Sorry, Rene. Once you scan those IDs, the loot tracker should lead us straight to the fragment and the traitor. <laughs> Got 
gotta say. I never thought I'd that swag. Yeah, dude. Is that all your stuff? Bumps? Huh? No? I don't know what it is, yeah. Holy God. God damn. It's like a minefield. If you guys are in here for the first time, um, smash a like and, uh, for more interesting conversations like this one. <laughs> Sorry, we're a little mature, but you know, that's how it is. We talk about different things. Sometimes it's about humping, sometimes it's about humping. Sometimes we can be sensible, sometimes... Oh, God of War is coming out, yeah. Uh, check out the videos. Um, sorry, I don't mean to cut you off, but uh, Ryan just talked about... <laughs> so not Ryan, I... Uh, I just talk about the God of War. Yes, check out the videos. You will like it a lot. The boy is back. He's like a teenager now. More or less annoying, depending on what you think. Your butler said you wanted to talk. That's my boyfriend, boy. and his name is That's my boyfriend. He don't talk like us, does he? <laughs> no, he don't. All right, so what gives? <laughs> Been a long time since you asked me for a drink. Regular Took a few seconds to press. The back then. That is. I wanted to talk <laughs> about Jacobs. Your daddy's fine. Monty's spooked, that's all. Galaxy's burning down, and he wants to know how far it'll spread. But none of the other corporations know what to do. Join forces or hey, what's up, Buddha Nader? And hope the winds don't change. But Eden will be fine. Groundhog Nookie. If there ain't no vault, the Ooh. children won't come to play. Yeah. Okay, at all. Yeah, see, that's what I want to discuss. Tom's come to let you in on a family secret. Well, I gotta be family for that, don't I? I don't want to finish that song. I don't want to give one biscuit any money. <laughs> I actually met Fred Durst. Oh, really? Well, yeah, he was, uh, like, he was, uh, he was sitting on a balcony of this concert, and me and my friend were just sitting next to him. And he, I can't find it now, but he signed like a piece of paper. Like he basically just said, "Fred Durst is gay." <laughs> <That's> like, <"Hero." laughs> I didn't take a picture of that. I, I felt weird. Like you know, I was like, I was like, I don't know. Yeah. Like I don't want, I don't want to be like one of those guys. Just it's like, hey, you. Yeah, I mean, take a picture. Sure. My friend did, but I, I don't really talk to that kid anymore. You yeah. got a better deal. Probably did, I don't know. I don't really care. <laughs> that's my... No, I mean, uh, getting him to sign something saying he's gay. No, nah, that, that's me. But I, I, I think I, I gave it to him, because he, he's actually a fan, like, unironically. Um, I was just, I was just like ah, hey it's Fred Thurst from Limp Bizkit. Uh I don't know what to say about that but okay fair enough <laughs> I'll I'll come say hello you know why not he he seemed like a cool guy like he kind of had a sense of humor about himself and what people thought of him so I I respect that at least if nothing else Nature Channel. Uh, Groundhog smash. I don't know. <laughs> we need to fast travel to get back there. Let's oh, anyone. yeah. Alright. Let's travel fast. <laughs> I did, Max. She was just woke up. She had a nap. And she needed to go. Pee. <laughs> pee pee. Alright. Now shoot the console. Just kidding. Don't. Do that. That's an amazingly expensive piece of tech. Just scan the IDs <laughs> and activate the loot trigger. What the hell? Oh yeah, we have to check this thing. This is 
the most sophisticated tracker money can buy. Beats drones, bots, you name it, in every conceivable test. And without further, you know, that fancy word for waiting, here it is. The loop tracker. Hell yeah, holographic monkey. Look, Tonon Smuggler Secret. You wanna find something? I want a holographic monkey. Fast as hell. Got a nose like a blood. Hound. If they have a holographic pad, I would I would get one. You have to walk them. Like no now follow that jabber. <laughs> ado! Ah, that's the word. Without further ado, learn that from a guy killed. Come on, you big psycho, where you going? Hold the book and everything. You know, despite being well. betrayed by one of my own, it feels good to be back in the field. Even I would draw a, a holographic tiger just walking around my my park. <laughs> like you'll have like a like a realistic voice, like so he looks scared of the burglars and shit. That'd be cool. I'd, I'd like um a holographic Pennywise or something. Um, I was uh, expecting something. To <laughs> Something more quagamayo. Something more greater than. Oh <laughs> you know what? Well, it works. It works. Come on, monkey. Lead us the way. Hey, you gonna kill these guys? Murder spaghetti, my favorite. Stay right there. In this planet. If I had an army of jabbers, I could take over the planet. Just saying. <laughs> Ook indeed, my brother. Ook indeed. Did he? I didn't see it. I didn't know it was a hologram because the sack that might that to tell us be even better. Get on here, bitch boy. <laughs> I want a, hol a holographic Lucy Lou, nice like in future M. Oh, holographic boy? Lucy Lou. Oh. <laughs> I just want. Her head of the jar, like, if you show up. <laughs> all you need is the head. <laughs> That's all you need. You've got enemies, and I've got ammo. Uh, Jonathan, I think we're gonna destroy him, to be honest. Um, I think it's gonna be like Southampton, 9 1, 9 0. Who are you guys playing? Uh, ultra positive, Newcastle. Oh, yeah, yeah please stop. You never know. I'm uh, taking my neck out, but I thought you were dead. Yeah, why not? Oh, Try to be positive. I see. You Fair enough. Death, sold out the rogues. Hell of a maneuver. You Come see what's up, Jonathan. You're never in my chat. <laughs> I always hear people talking to him, and he's just like somewhere else. <laughs> so I'm ready for this. <laughs> you don't have to, but you know. You, man. Sure you care. I care. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Nikki? We'll see about that play. I've got a new family now. And a new shine. Let's destroy the lip zone. I should fucking destroy him. Show him what happens to traitors, Vault Hunter. 
Okay, wait a minute. Okay. Me and Archimedes worked together for years. Sad to say goodbye, but traitors are traitor. Even if they were family. Well, you see the fragment? One second. Got the fragment, boyo. No problem. As I knew you would, Vault Hunter. After all this is done, you should join the rogues. We can use someone like you. I should PH? Offered me a small fortune to turn against Wainwright, y'all. Um, I didn't take it. Montgomery Jacobs? I'm not sure. The closest thing to a father I had. What are you talking about? Well, those Calypso twins murdered him, and Aurelia helped. So when you and Wainwright are ready to make a move... Yeah, I'm uh, uh, with Quiet. I have no idea what PH means. Vault Hunter, I am told you have recovered another Vault Key fragment. Please come see me on Sanctuary. I am not picking up what you're putting down, my friend. Sorry. <laughs> what side? I'm confused. Hey, what's up, Jonathan? Welcome. How is you? Yeah, if you guys are here, if you guys are new here, or you guys are just coming in, smash that like button on both channels. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, physical test. I do have some pizza slices left, which I'm saving for after the stream. So. You guys are lucky that I'm just not going to devour them right now. Because <laughs> I really want them. <laughs> Thank you guys. And also smash it on Ryan's channel. We both... Ooh. ...work very hard. <laughs> and we appreciate you guys. I walk harder before Ryan gets back. <laughs> it's like my third street today. Fucking crazy. I don't know what's wrong with me. Yeah, I did a I did a small stream with uh, G Wolf this morning. Uh, he was playing Rocket League, so I joined him. Then I played. Um, Clay says the operation was a success. Well, I've then I played. Um, well. What's that game? The, is. It's right the Long the Dark. Sorry, now. couldn't think of the name for it, and, the all in one fell swoop. and now I'm playing this. Is this thing on? Test, test. Hey, Vault Hunter. Have we got an opportunity for you. You don't want to miss it. The first stream was not planned, to be fair. I just sort of uh, wanted to do it. Because Jivo was on. And, and I've been asking him to, to play earlier. <laughs> okay. Hey. The dog wanted to watch, and then she wanted to go away, and then she wanted to come back. Oh, okay, fair enough. I don't think he's ready for video games. Is there any, uh, anything else I could do? Nah. Oh, shit. Okay. 
Okay, that is really hideous. <laughs> what is going on here? That's a shark. <laughs> See you later, Renee. Uh, we, we'll be back. We'll be here until like eight ish. So, my yeah. turn. What's up? Hello. What do you think? Go <laughs> <laughs> find this tennis snack. I know where she is. She was like up the steps. I have a uh, pizza from uh, what's that store? Are you little. Are you yeah, little. Pretty good. Uh, it's pretty good. Five Jose, bucks for a pie. Now. Pretty good. Put in the oven for ten minutes. Am I um, waiting for something? I forget. One fragment down, two to go. Nice. That leaves only one more yeah. fragment. Once you acquire it, I will join you at the vault. Tannis, I don't like this. Lilith, I understand your concern, but the facts remain. The Calypsos will come to feed on the Vault Monster. My presence is required to ensure that when they arrive, their dinner plan Wait, did I just sell one of my weapons? Just Shit, which one did I sell? It's her choice to go down, Lilith. And we have to do something, or the Calypsos get exactly what they want. Oh no, I saw that big gun. Fuck. Tannis, I ah, it's okay. I'll get a better weapon. It's not from the hut. The pizza hut here sucks, by the way. I heard actually you guys have a better pizza hut than us. Where's Ryan, by the way? What, what, what happens? I'm here. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure. Right. I wasn't sure if you wanted to check on your dog again. <coughs> no, no, no. They're uh, looking after me. Okay. Who wouldn't jump at the chance? Okay, right, you guys are all taking turns. Good luck, Bob. Yeah, uh, Don't worry, I got this shit one's on responsibility. I used to walk my dog outside, but um, <laughs> my grandma took over after oh, a while. Uh, well, she kind of needed the, the camp companion. <laughs> so, oh. we just gave it to her. At least you knew where he went. Yeah, he was nearby. <laughs> it's a she, but yeah, either hey, way. Gee. What's up, guys? Yeah, it was a she. She, she lived like five minutes from me. It's not, like, it's, not, it's not I never saw oh. the dog. My, my grandma lives pretty close. She still lives in the same apartment. Oh, cool. The dog passed away, unfortunately. Oh. It was old. Old age. So it wasn't like, you know, something tragic. Still sucks. <laughs> the it, it, it doesn't make any... Great. What's a well, of course, it's like when you... Well, where my family cascades our signature um, I'm not a big um, fan of uh, Assassin's Creed. I actually had Black Flag. It came with my, um, my Xbox when I first got it. It was both games, actually. While you infiltrate it was the Uni Unity and Black Flag. I never played Assassin's Creed, I don't know why. Here, here. I never did either, I tried. By the waterfall when you're ready, Vault Hunter. Got my next I tried playing... Uh, the, I think the second or the third game. <laughs> Back then it was just called Carl Assassin's Creed 1 or 2. Or three. I heard Valhalla is pretty decent. But I never actually played it either. If I could speak with Aurelia face to face, I might convince her to surrender. Enough blood has been shed. Sometimes maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I'll be honest. I ask only for a Where is this? That's well, probably better to come from here. Actually, not. Nah. 
if I actually shoot guilds in the game or in real life. <laughs> Either way, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> it's cool though. I think you mean good stuff. It's good. I like gold curry. Uh, if I have, you ever have Jamaican food, curry goat, they call not cold curry. Okay. It's very good, a little bony, but it tastes very good. If you ever go to like uh, a Jamaican spot, I'm sure you guys have some in England. Uh, Over here, yeah, Vault Hunter. So. I'm not sure about here, but the bigger, bigger city as well. Follow my lead. Probably here. Montgomery yeah. Jacobs showed me this mm. little side entry. Probably in London it's more. Yeah. And I owe it to him to see the. Yeah, we have a lot here. Um, I'm actually. I would love to have one right now. When I was in Jamaica, it was really cool. I would just spend my time on the beach, and then they would have these cookouts. So I didn't have to even leave the beach to go to any restaurants or anything. They would have jerk chicken and curry goat and all that stuff. Like, uh, what's the other good dish uh, they have that I like? Uh, chicken and curry goat. Uh, rice and peas with chicken. That's a good one. I could fish. Go for that. Jacob's family loves their secrets. This passage will put you. They have this fish called ake, which is like salted fish with rice. Is that like a local like delicacy? Then? It is. It's a uh, Jamaican delicacy. Yeah, it's uh, it's not as as well known as curry goat or um, what's the other one? Oxtail, that oxtail. Yeah, that's the, that's the other one. The that's a very. Uh, Popular one you're making. Happy to help. I'd like to go back. It's not that expensive either. It's, uh, close. Yeah, it's closer. To, to, it's only like uh, a couple of hours of plane. So is that like where people in the US go on holiday? To make uh, it? Mexico, mostly. Or if you don't want to leave the country, you go to Florida. But I've never actually been to Florida. <laughs> been everywhere but Florida. Yeah. Um, Hawaii was kind of cool. I was there two years ago. I was actually there for. I was thinking about moving down there. Trigger fingers getting tired of. Well, I'm glad didn't. But not because. Uh, well. It's kind of expensive there, but that's not why I was, uh, I got a job with the airline industry. Well, I didn't get a job, I, I got an interview for a job with the airline industry out there. And I was like, oh, cool. Uh, I would love to just be spontaneous and move to Hawaii. But it never materialized. And uh, they didn't, like, there's like a, literally I went down there and it was like a five minute interview. And they just told me that I wasn't accepted. And I was like, great, I spent all this money to come here. So my family is like, just just stay, we'll, you know, just, just have fun there, you know. They saved me some money at the time, because I, I, it was kind of like, I didn't have a lot of, a lot of cash at that time. But, so my, my parents like, yeah, here's some money, just, just stay out there for a couple of days, hang out, go rent the car. Yeah, it was fun. I hung out with some locals. Uh, I made some friends in my hotel. And they showed me some cool spots. That was kind of nice. I actually like when I get to hang out with locals. Because, you know, it's one thing just being on a beach all day with, like, tourists and stuff. But actually, like, hanging out with people who are from the area. You know, they know it's Like everybody was on holiday to Spain or France. Yeah, I heard Canary Islands is a very popular destination. Wait, what's going on? Uh, I would say most Americans go to like Mexico, like that's like if they want to go abroad, just because it's yeah. like really quick to get there. That's it. 
I'm trying to think what the second most country is. Well, my favorite place to go to, if you ever go, is Costa Rica. Ah, oh, Central America. Yeah, Central America. It's... I really liked it. My uncle was just there for like a couple of months. Wow. Yeah, he just uh, wanted to live, wanted to stay there for a couple of months. He lived in a few different locations there. First, he started on the coast, then he went went to inland to the main city, and then he went to like uh, to the other coast, the Pacific coast. Over there, it's like really quick, you know, between the coasts, because it's like you know, Central America is very thin. I've been to a bunch of Central American countries. I've been to Panama. That was kind of cool. Panama City looks beautiful. It's like very modern. Very expensive too. You don't really think of Panama as being an expensive country, but uh, it really is. It's like, uh, if Americans can't afford to live there, then you know, people who are from there definitely can afford to live there. But there, there's still some like sketchy areas. Uh, South America, I've been to a few countries. Mostly, uh, uh, what's the country I've been to? Uh, sorry, can't think of. Uh, not Colombia. Uh, the one in the middle. Why can't I think of the name? Uh, Venezuela? Like Galapagos I Islands. Uh. Uh, Ecuador. There you go. Ecuador, yeah. Yeah. So I was there, uh, like, in, right mid, time, in the late 2000s. 2009, I believe. Galapagos Islands are awesome. I have a lot of photos Nonsense. from there. Uh, yeah, I've seen on TV Bottom that said the, um, the huge, uh, the turtles. Yeah, yeah, they have the Galapagos turtle. We'll solve this puzzle oh. on yeah. They had that famous one, the one that was like alive for 150 years. I got to see him yeah. before he died. He died like a couple of years ago. His name was Von. His nickname was Vonsom George because he uh, was the last of his like, sp uh, subspecies. So he's a stupid fish with a yeah, cone. That's cool. He wasn't as remarkable, but now, but like, when I actually went to see documentaries about it afterwards, I was like, oh, that's kind of cool that I got to see him. When you're there, he's just a turtle, you know. You see, you see plenty of turtles when you're out there. Yeah. They have those big turtles. There's a. Uh, I went to this turtle farm where this guy was, uh. Well, basically, like, he had all these turtles that he, uh, kept. in this big property. Uh, yeah. And, uh, I was swimming with, uh, sea lions. There was this baby one that was swimming. I, I got scared because he was like right next to me. But like he wasn't like, he was just sort of swimming up to me and like swimming away. Oh, cool. At first I was like scared, I was like shit, I don't want this guy like to like, hurt me. Because <laughs> you know, it's an animal, I don't know what it's going to act like. But like, after a while I realized he just wanted to play, so sort of, uh, He just sort of swam around me. Like sort of, uh, swam next to me, swam away. Cause I was, I was like snorkeling basically, but like it was uh, a lot of sea lions there. <laughs> Luckily, his mama and papa didn't come through because they're big, uh, they, they become big. <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't be too happy if you were uh, you're there. You're one. I have a, yeah, no. I have a video of uh, speaking of that. Uh, I have a video of this couple laying on the beach, uh, they, they were with us in their group. You know, they were, they were just sort of you know, doing a couple of stuff, just sort of like laying down each other, and then like, I just, I just look at this like big sea lion just started creeping towards them, I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> so I pulled out my camera and I started filming that. 
uh, it, they they noticed right away too. I mean, it wasn't like a, I don't know. Uh, the guy said it wasn't gonna hurt him, but they got scared. But I gave him the video afterwards because they wanted it. I'll be scared too, fuck. If I saw that big ass fucking, they're big, Derek. You're talking a little quiet. Yeah, Repeat again, huh? Right? Oh, they're quick, yeah, especially in the water. Out of water, they're kind of, I don't know, not as quick, I guess. But like, in the water, like, yeah, they, they swim like, like sharks, basically. Hey, Brandon. Hey, Bren. Happy win, Alvin. <laughs> Uh, take care, Max. Yeah, good night. Thank you for, uh, coming. Thank you guys for stopping by. If you are stopping by. We appreciate you. Sorry, I don't know why this whole episode I've been, like, talking about a different thing. <laughs> well, it's good. Hopefully you guys are enjoying my little stories. We took her right away. You should do a... Uh, ready experience button. vlogs. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know. I feel like I say everything that's interesting on in these streams. <laughs> Trust me, I, I'm... We do a fairly... Whatever life. <laughs> it's okay. But it's not like... I wish I had a couple interesting life. You've uh, traveled more than most people will in your life. That's true. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not taking that for granted. Don't get me wrong. I'm not. I'm not saying that. I think. I think. I do think I'm lucky that I've been able to go to, the, and most likely I'll still go. You know, to a bunch of countries. Yeah. Not a lot of people will get to do that kind of stuff. <laughs> But at the same time, you know, uh, I think uh, people should You're travel as much way. as they can. Take you to the distillery I think it really um, broadens right your horizons, uh, you know. Yeah, especially when it can just get stopped as well, like with COVID, and you can't go anywhere. This wing of the yeah, I think uh, to, I was actually on vacation like uh, like two months before COVID hit. <laughs> I went to Mexico. Oh shit, what's going on here? This is, uh, Weird scene. Some sort of suicide. <laughs> Is it some kind of commentary on television? Uh, either way. A nice way to it just dump ever. It was a real worry turn situation. Was I losing my Okay, no worries, uh, Nikki. I we appreciate you stopping by. Hopefully you can come back. If not, uh, we'll see you another day. Thanks for watching, mate. Hammerlock is uh, quiet as the guy from the g this game. It's the guy that's like a big game hunter. He looks like one of those like guys with the mustache. You've seen Sir Hammerlock. Just look, look him up. Yeah, he was in uh, Borderlands too. Pretty much every Borderlands. Borderlands prequel. I don't know about the first game. I, I actually never played. That was like the least played game that I played. Actually, I barely even played that. I think I played the first... I wasn't really into like RPG games, so I was like, what the hell is this? I thought it was like Halo. Where's the boss? Good. Um... Gotta go further? Maybe. I see the boss uh, thing. I don't know where the boss is. Uh, this, is, this is kind of like this is reminding me of a lot of like you within. As your brother, I implore you to stop this. Step aside, Alistair. Oh, this she's the well, boss. Ah, right, good. End of the we get to kill her now. If you want to kill Wayne, right? Then you will have. To 
That's that's our hammerlock. The guy with the mustache. Cold as ice. Well, should be frozen soon. We'll make sure. Where is she? I don't understand. Is she like, hiding from us? No. Are you shooting her? Yeah, the, the drop down. Where's the drop down? Uh, Did I miss it somewhere? I'm always yeah, oblivious yeah. with these things. Oh, there, there it is. Okay. Yeah. I don't understand how this can work up there, but... I see her. <laughs> I got her in my shot. Hopefully she doesn't regenerate. Probably will. Yeah, I think she will. She's pretty easy to kill. She wasn't too bad. Just I just think we got caught up. There's a trap down here. Yeah. Oh, she died. Where are you, witch? Hey. That was easy. <laughs> We didn't have to do anything. Is there any weapons that she went behind? Yeah, quite a few. Like, special weapons. Um, it was a legendary, but I don't know what it was. I think it was a mod. Mm, okay. Occasionally shoots out beam now. Rifle? Do you want that? Drop with you. Uh, which one? This one. There we go. Uh, sure. Let me check that out. All right. Uh, be right back. No worries. We introduce your evening's programming to give you a commercial break. Ruddy has gone for a pee. What other size one? 
I'm confused. Oh, wait, what happened? Oh. <laughs> uh, no. This is no, Sarah Hammerlock right. right here. Giving her every chance and yeah. Mustache guy. Blinded fool of a brother. You two are. They pulled up mustaches. This is uh, Lincoln guy. That guy's name. Finish the task, Bolt Hunter. Rag the vault. Reveal the end. Lincoln Downey Jr. And this guy. You rich folk and your riddles He's and Robin puzzles Williams and genuine and warning of dead family members. <laughs> oh, yeah. I do apologize. Are you hearing this, Alistair? The vault hunters lost all whimsical intrigue. Forgive Winnie, he gets cranky when he's been shot. Do just try solving the riddles, vault hunter. The first statue is out there on the terrace. Once you clear the path to the vault, I will join you with the rest of the vault key. Okay. So what do we do with the statue? That's the founder himself, Singleton Talbot Jacobs. Quite the eye for detail he it? had, even if it caused him to miss the big picture. Listen to the recording for a hint. Oh, I know what to do. Did I sell that uh, weapon? You sell that weapon uh, that shoots uh, those those signs? I do. Okay, I think I sold mine. <laughs> I didn't realize I had to keep it. Fuck. I don't think I've got rid of anything, so I should have. For the channel, yeah. You don't have it? Shit. Um, I should have it. Houston, we have a problem. Maybe we couldn't sell it, I don't know. Let's see. The man was shot in the face. Did you catch that part? I don't remember selling anything, to be honest. Um... I think I did. The man was shot in the face. Did you catch that part? Singleton oh, never mind. Held up and all he cared to do was inspect the ball, hey. the robber's rifle. He, he just he told us exactly what to do. <laughs> Head to the menagerie next. Remember we saw that, uh, we couldn't get that puzzle because we saw that weapon. <laughs> they shouldn't actually saw the weapon, then. Cause nobody knows. This I mean, the... they should know, but for idiots like us. That was the first, like, uh, one. Yeah, that was uh, one of your first introductions. We were just a couple hundred. I wasn't, that's the funny thing. <laughs> I was actually playing like a new. Let's say. Let's say we were. <laughs> Just so much need to do this. But, alright. Yeah. Is your microphone next to your face? Just wondering, because like, sometimes it's hard to hear you. Uh, yeah. I'm just talking a bit quiet, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. I always feel bad about like, yeah. I like, sometimes I don't hear what you're saying 100%. That's like really, like, listen up. Uh, I'm trying to be a little bit louder. I'll tell you yeah, just uh, put it up. Yeah. If, if you speak quietly, it's fine. Just, you know, just put it up a bit, if you can. Okay. That way, you can still speak soft. Yeah. But...
hope you're not offended. Maddox was a nervous man no. who never left his room. The outside world was full of those who surely meant him doom. While his concentration was on ruination, the gun at his back went kaboom. Maddox was a nervous man who never left his room. The outside world was... Yep, oh, old guy showing it back. so much time looking out the window, he never noticed that his butler was plotting his demise. Uh, gothic drama. The final riddle is in the greenhouse. Yeah, this thing is fucked. <laughs> so one more, wherever it is. Yeah. Sit down with this one. You mean the, the statues? Yeah, they kind of look like that. A little bit. Quiet. <laughs> we get up the base. Quiet. Yes. I dig it. either I never never played that game I mean I I, I might have I don't remember honestly if I did it didn't really stand out to me oh shit I don't think we had it I've only seen it on TV to be honest yeah, then, then you've seen everything <laughs> pretty much what it, what it looks like on TV about those countries when you prefer to. Hmm. What is that? Oh, that's my... Ah, oh, my drone has like a shocking now. Right. Yep. Little bastard. Usually they're little. Of us. <laughs> Shoot him in the ass. Uh, we'll see. They'll say what you have to do. No, no, he has to like, say something first. Warden tripped in the factory and died. Oh, oh. Well, the doctor had to invent a new name for his injury. 
Called it fatal oh. testicular mm -hmm. devastation. I just shot, I just <laughs> hit him on the test testicles and that's exactly what I needed to hit him. Mission accomplished. It was very Borderlands like to finish a mission. Hit him in the nuts. That is how we do it. Hunter enjoys solving elaborate puzzles as much as you do. Yes. Yes, I do suppose the heart of an adventurer still beats within you, Vault Hunter. Oh, where's your owl weapon? Is it still you still have it, or you sold it? Uh, no, I don't have it. Sold it? Oh wait, the owl, yeah, the owl weapon. I should have it. Wait, uh, okay. Um, quiet like a bit. This is it for you, quite. Enjoy, good guys. <laughs> oh, there you go. Well, now you have. Wait, we have to go somewhere on the map. I oh, know, just forward. Yeah, yeah. Hello. You have my thanks. Go bridge, go. Uh, skill points? One second. I will meet you there. Sure. I heard someone say once, and I always wanted to try it. Anyway, there's no time for parlor tricks. I will assemble the vault key. Okay. Bullets and bombs. Melee steals weapons. Okay. Maybe I don't need melee but people too much. I'm just thinking if I should keep this one. Anything good here? Uh, not really. I have a lot of money. Oh, that's more skill points? Let's go. Looks like we may have a boss fight. 
Nice. One second, I'm just trying to uh, yeah. put in my... We probably will have a boss fight. And it's going to be a big boss fight. Ready for action. Let's go. Take care of the vault monster. Then we will eradicate it before the Calypsos arrive. Guardian. Let's go. This makes no sense. There's supposed to be an enormous monster inside a vault. Find a vault town. Well, there it is. Oh, Big shit. murder truck. I thought it was too easy. <laughs> yeah, nah, come on. The Grave Ward. I like the name. It's kind of easy. Well, not easy, but you gotta avoid certain things. Like, uh, falling down. Just keep jumping. Watch out for the green balls. Ah, shit. Can you... Where are you? I just died. <laughs> we need to work together on this one, trust me. This is how not to kill... I'm recording this, by the way. This is how not to kill the boss. Let's uh, go down. Uh, wait. Oops, went the wrong way. I'm gonna die. I am ready for him. Just, just keep, uh, keep putting the pressure on him. Shoot him when it when it bends the the platform. Just uh, oh yeah, he's got that fast too. It's not too difficult once. You so he's gonna slam on the thing. Just watch out for the green balls. Just keep jumping. Okay. And just kind of like uh, navigate past them. That's about it. Watch out for some monkeys that he throws down. Probably some other stuff he's gonna do. I don't ever explain this well. Whatever. Just, just keep shooting him. And make sure you use your... Your, your weapons. Oh, yes. Your clone. Or your... Your monkey guy. Firing yeah. Actually, you see these cavities that he comes out? Yeah. They're good to hide from the bullets, but not so much from everything else that he does. Okay. Can you rescue me? I'll uh, just come down. I'm trying to get back. Never mind. I'm good. Teach you how to fight. Ah. <laughs> that yeah, this, this whole stage is like 
Just shoot the small guys. There you go, second one. Just stay away from those uh, marked places. You, you've seen that before. Yeah. With that first boss that he fight. And just keep uh, whittling away from him. It's actually the last big boss that I fought before I stopped fighting. So, everything beyond this, ah! Uh, everything beyond this is a mystery. I got nothing more to teach you. <laughs> oh shit. Just jump. We almost got him. Help. Uh, watch out. What's that? Shoot him in the face, I think that kinda takes more account of that. When he does that. Ah. Oops. Green balls. Let's go. It's basically wisdom to be with this guy. I can't see anything. It's the dark. I'm in the hall. You come on, rescue. Oh, are you dead? Uh, no, I'm okay. No. Can you come in the hall, please? I'm gonna die. Uh, well, just survive. I'll come back. Okay. Don't die. If I get there. So as I land, he has that stupid thing on the ground. This guy is basically a bullet sponge. Uh oh. Don't Yeah, when, when he does stuff like this, just want, look at the floor for a second, just see where the safety runs. In. I know we've been dying a lot, uh, for those of you guys watching the video back. But just, if you just pay attention to stuff around you, unlike us. Let's go. We got him. Any legendaries? Oh, hey. Out 
give us the vault. Right. And that's it. Right. For the video. I'd like to make a video where I don't die at some point, but whatever, it's fine. Maybe when we get better weapons, we can uh, try to farm some. We seem to be a step behind. We do. But it's okay. Ah, this vault is indeed connected to the Promethea vault you opened, as well as Pandora. Oh yeah, we could now read those alien artifacts. Could Tyreen Calypso be telling the truth oh, nice. about the Great Vault? I am concerned. Yeah, what Come alien out artifacts. and we will return I'll show to Sanctuary too. together. Lilith will want to hear about this. Oh, okay. Oh, hello. Is that yours? Um... Is there any more? Not a lot in here. Yeah, and the vaults, uh, you, it's kind of weird. They build up these vaults over the last couple of games. And then it's like, oh, okay, this is kind of a wet down. Oh, well. I was disappointed. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> hey, <know>. Renee's back. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, we this. killed the big boss, Renee. You missed it. It was epic. You'd be proud of us. Yep. But you missed it. I wonder what the um, other big boss is going to be like. <clears throat> Which was the hardest one you think you've had? Wait, does she, does she want to talk to us about something? One second. Don't, don't, uh, send it yet. Thomas! Oh, I'm in trouble. And she's gone! Oh, man! You, when you killed that monster, I was like, shit! <laughs> but... We've got our eye on a bigger prize. Lilith, the Calypso's just took Tannis. No, damn it! Vault Hunter, I need you back on Sanctuary, now! This is the arena we fought him. It was epic. Uh, it was a big ass monster, like uh, one of the major ones, like one of the vault monsters. Just go back like five minutes from now and you'll see him. Can we explain? But he was a big guy, big dude. Very scary. Is this thing on? Test, test. Hey, Vault Hunter! Have we got an opportunity for you? You don't want to miss it! Uh, why is there a commercial here? Is that what you're talking about, Quiet, with the commercials? <laughs> I just realized that's what he was, you were talking about. That's how we describe it, yes. Big ass thing. <laughs> Giant crew. Coming. This is exactly what I was afraid of. Giant Shrek. Stop talking about Tannis like she's already <laughs> dead. There's still time. The giant hairy nipple. Of course. Hey, we level up. Your scientist. If you want to see her alive, it's not gonna happen. Yeah, cause What's you this Shrek? <laughs> oh, it's those guys? Yeah, that's who I saw. Yeah, it's us! Cool masks, right? Why are they so cringe? So, spoiler! We are Which YouTubers do they remind you of? 
Thinking about Dragon Ball Kids. Just throwing it out there. Yeah, better <laughs> ones. Jake Paul. He's even worse. Like the worst, worst version of his brother. Speaking of murder, I actually kind of. Um, I hate the Logan Paul, but now nah, I'm okay with him. I don't know. Maybe it's some kind of a uh, weird version of a. Uh, what, what is that? Like when you get when you get hostage when you get captured as a hostage and you. Uh, uh, develop an affinity for your captors. Stockholm syndrome. Yeah, Stockholm. There you go. That's what I was thinking about. Yeah. Calypso's mentioned a carnivora. Go it's actually weird. Stockholm syndrome. Into an old Crimson Raiders outpost and Devil's Razor. Oh, hello, Lulu. Been monitoring COV. I missed you. He'll know what's going on. You got this, Vault Hunter. You freaking animal. Go save that scientist. Hello. Yeah, uncovered more, more stuff. Yeah, Stockholm syndrome. Yeah, mine just said it. I couldn't think of the name. I was like, "What is that thing where you have that thing?" <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm gonna sell some weapons. I picked up a lot of crap. Crap, crap. <laughs> yeah, maybe. What is this Moxie's bar thing? Oh, it's already known. Okay, well then I guess I just... See you, Vault Hunter. At the south, maybe? Why is it called Sonya Dawa? Uh, is there anything I could, uh... Never mind. I'm in the wrong place. Alright, quiet. Appreciate it. Come. Are you going to be here tomorrow or are you going to take a day off uh, Saturday? Let us know. Then we'll play this game and then we'll, 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 I'll wait uh, to play, um, what's that uh, game? Uh, Little Hope un until you come back. I don't do it for anybody, so just saying. Most people I wouldn't wait for, but a few people I will. <laughs> you're in the VIP club, quiet. Yeah, you're you're in the club. He's been in the club for a long time. Now. He is the club. Oh. <laughs> I have no idea what Ryan means, but okay, <laughs> sure. You are the club. <laughs> I don't even know what I mean sometimes. Okay, no problem. Chill with the fam. No worries. And we'll see you Sunday. Anyway, so. I'm actually going to be going to the show tomorrow, so I'm not going to be having like a, a big stream. To an Rest. I'm seeing Long one of my favorite Victor. bands tomorrow. One of my favorite New York bands. <laughs> well, probably one of my favorite bands overall. Hi, hello. Uh, one more uh, Resident Evil stream to finish. It seems YouTube. Iridian yeah, professors are like vault keys. Everyone wants a piece. I might do my Resident Evil stream at some point. Aside, it is horror month soon, after all. Well, it is kind of unofficial right now. I still have some yeah, you can start now. Sleeve, right now. I fear using them would only change. I kind of have. It's just uh, the problem is going to be broken up because of uh, Far Cry. Yeah. But it's good. This thing's a weak. Don't need to go.
Okay. Let's keep going. Let's go. I think we need a car. Oh shit. Yeah, let's go back. <laughs> let's, go, let's get it. We just need a car for that jump. Okay, fair enough. It's right here anyway. It's okay. I will. Maybe we'll, we'll play uh, something like Rocket League tomorrow. That way, you know. You won't have to miss anything significant. Talk to G Wolf. G Wolf, G Wolf. Wait, who's calling me? Give me a second. Oh, my friend Richard. Shit. Go on then!
like the COV have been busy on Pandora. That's the way to Devil's Razor, but you're gonna have to smash through. <laughs> Sorry about that. I am back. Hey. Hello. Now my, my mic is here. Don't worry. I I was just talking to a friend. He's going to a show tonight. I actually forgot. Uh, one of my friends is uh, his band is doing a record release party on um, on Sunday. So. Oh, nice. The jury is out if I go or not because I don't know. I've seen them plenty of times, but I may or may not go. I'll let you guys know beforehand if I whatever I decide to do. Trying to uh, combine uh, uh, hanging uh, out oh, and, and you know streaming, basically real life and internet. Uh, I mean you know it's like it's, sometimes I, that's why I didn't go today because I I was just like I I can't really. I mean, I've seen the band that's like headlining. I've seen them twice in a row, or twice uh, the, the past like month. I just wanted to go hang out just to like, see my friends, but it's okay. Not not a big deal. Uh, I will see them next. I will see them, some of them tomorrow because they're going to be there. Big show. Lots lots of big bands. Got my ticket already. It's gonna be Long Island, which is like about an hour right away. I hope you have a great time. Yeah, it it should be. Uh, whenever that band plays, I always have a good time. I gotta thank the singer because he really helped me out uh, when uh, when I got uh, in that predicament. I'm sure you know what I'm he was the guy. He was the guy who really uh, stepped up and made sure I was okay. Because it actually happened right next to him. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna mention what it is on stream. Yeah. Just because it's not appropriate. But yeah. Actually, one of the girls who really helped me out was is going to be there today because her boyfriend's in, the, in, the, in one of the bands. Oh, cool. So, but I don't know. I feel kind of awkward about the whole thing. That's that's one of the other reasons why I'm so like I'll, I'll be okay without going. Anyway, yeah. You guys are my friends, my <laughs> internet friends, but I do have some little my friends sometimes and. Then, I like to see them too at times. <laughs> I like to keep a balance. Or at least try to keep a balance. Doesn't always work out. Somebody's always gonna win out. I try to stay in as much as I can too, but uh, I like to 
actually have a life of some kind. <laughs> like I said earlier, I've got a traveling thing I prefer it. It's like, I right. It makes me it's um, I think it's important to have like a, especially when you're like streaming a lot, it's just mm. you just get stuck at home. <gasps> so it's it's nice to have other things to do with besides just streaming all the time. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if um, we're in lockdown again soon. You, you think so? Yeah. Why do you think that? You think uh, they're gonna close Eng England down again? I think they were they're, um, sort of putting it out there that they might be doing it in winter. Yeah. Is it it's starting up again? Like the, I don't know. Over here, they don't really seem to. I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. They don't really say much about it. All of a sudden, things went away. Whenever it became financially um, inconvenient for them, <laughs> it's like, oh, you guys are cured. Hallelujah. I mean, I, I personally think they should have done it a long time ago, like, just open things up. But, whatever. It did give me time to work on my channel and just sort of, uh, you know. There's uh, a few good points to it. I try to make my uh, quarantine uh, mean something, not just sitting home. Doing nothing. Yeah. I could have done more, most probably, but I'm sure other people did less. It's a strange situation with all them. I don't like this gun. I mean, it's powerful and shit and stuff. But it's also like really slow firing, which I hate. I'm on fire, but not literally. It's a <sighs> gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, yeah, radio. Yeah, Arizona kind of uh well Arizona isn't as populated. So I don't think you, I don't think you guys really were on lockdown for that long. New York was a lot more affected. Especially because we have stupid leadership. But I'm not gonna get into that. We sort of got a, like a hold of COVID here and we are winning it. We're all the way down to like zero deaths a day and stuff, and now it's been 200 a day. How many? Oh, now? 200. It's not that much. No. Or is that so, a lot? I don't know, it's not that much. I mean, how many people do you have like in all of. Is it, is it all in the county or is it like city or. What is it? Um. I can't remember if it's just the UK or just England, but they always like play around with the numbers and change it. Two hundred for England is nothing. Even for Eng I mean, I know America is a lot bigger, so two hundred here would be even less than that. But even for England, it's a very small number. A lot of a lot of people a lot more people die from the flu than they die from COVID. True. Yeah. That's why when it was. Um... Mm? When it was at its worst, COVID here, it was like 2,000 a day dying with it. Well, yeah, it was pretty bad here. But it was a lot of like, older people, like people, so it was like one of those things where they just sort of uh, shut it down for everybody. Even if you're young, old, whatever. <laughs> It's one of those things where I don't really know how to feel about it too much, because on one hand, maybe it was the best of the worst situation, yeah. or they just completely just messed up the numbers just to make it look worse than it is. I don't know. Hey, 
Oh, it's the crackhead. Man, the Pectoral Liberation <laughs> Alliance. Nah, I'm just kidding. Go Crimson Raiders. <laughs> remember me, Vaughn? How could I forget? Yeah, I remember you. Good to um, see you. Anyway, I'm glad you His nips are much, hell this place much more defined in HD. <laughs> Take your eye out. Oh, right, the mission. Okay. Town says you're here to save Tannis. Now, if Carnivora has her, you gotta get a move on. Who's this Carnivora then? I'm already killing him, her, or them in my mind. No, it's not a who, it's a what. Carnivora is a giant festival run by two murder streamers named Pain and Terror. You can find it in the Splinterlands, bro. Yeah. Carnivora is the most popular Calypso fan stream in the galaxy, bro. Pain and Terror take okay, over bro. non-stop in the name of the Calypsos and, of course, I your fans. Anyway, I can help you get to Carnivora, but getting in might be a different story. Vault Hunter, I know I don't need to say this, but we are not losing anyone else. Ah, damn it! I didn't think I'd actually end up liking any of you people. Yeah, I'll save her. Ah, uh, Zane. Still my favorite. My imminent murder is whipping these cultists into a frenzy. They're delivering Iridium by the armful, screaming my name all the way. I had no idea I was so popular amongst the idiot masses. I suppose you never know where flattery is going to come from. Where are you, man? <laughs> Did you teleport? I, uh... oh! No, I'm just sort of in the... around the corner. Okay. Well, we have a long way to go. <laughs> the opposite way. Hey, what's I up, Ellie? I definitely have. <laughs> Quite a fan of Lilith. Ryan Simps all have a female character. I do. Even the LED thing. Oh, hey, They're making Alan Wake. Oh, really? Yeah, he's in the same uh, universe as uh, Control. Drag that game and the weirdness of it. You're gonna like it all week. <laughs> Control was fun. Yeah, it was a good game. Uh, he actually appeared in the in the DLCs. He's the old guy that was like uh, talking there. I don't know if you remember. Yeah. Yeah, that was that one week. A lot of people were taken by surprise by that because they didn't think it was like, the same universe. How are you doing, Ellie? Are you okay? Yeah, I hope you're good, Ellie. I can't see you, but either way, hope you're good. <laughs> She's like John Cena. John Cena! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the graphics, Ellie, again. She was the one that made all the the weird faces that you see here, my things. <laughs> She's really good. She uses this app, but she likes using it, so... I was like, Ellie, you can make any anything you want. Use your discretion. <laughs> God, if I was not done with them, I'm gonna be very... I think we will. In fact, I might even make a bomb in my cat. That's how, that's how much I, I believe in us. Might be a very big mistake. And I lose a lot of points. Oh, hello there. I think if uh, Norwich get away. The knives will be out. Uh, yeah, if, if we don't get a win tomorrow, that's it. Even if you do, 
I don't, I don't think that's gonna be a career saving game for him. I think it's always gonna be like the next boss now. People are waiting to do Well, unless he like wins a bunch in a row and he really turns the, the ship around. I don't wanna be like. I don't wanna be one of those guys that just waits for a manager gets fired all the time. I think he could be good. If he has the right, but I don't know, maybe he won't be, I don't know. It's kinda hard to say with him. He started out well at Arsenal. Yeah? I mean, he won the FA Cup. From what I remember, to play in like Arsenal, he used to play. Yeah. That's why I was like, man, this guy is the right guy for the job. <laughs> and then, uh, some, some shit happened and he forgot uh, what he was doing. I'm dying. Fuck. Yeah, the southwestern states when they uh, weren't as hit hard just because of like you guys weren't aren't as populated. Like, yeah, so it makes sense why you guys want on lockdown for as much as we have. But. but still. I have to go all the way back to you. Shit. Hey man, Conte's name is the last one quite a bit. Okay. I really wanted Conte. I still want him. We'll He's see what happens. guy I'd like if all the evidence gets sacked. Which I hope not. But well, this is why I want Arsenal really. to get him. Because I'm feeling... Let me ask you a question, like a serious question. I mean, it's not our way out question, but like, if he doesn't win it, if he doesn't win that trophy this year, do you give him more time, or do you, do you think he's done Personally, with the players he has at his disposal? Yeah, I think a trophy minimum and Champions League. Or Champions League? Oh, uh, that's a tough ask. No, I mean just qualify in the Champions League, that's the minimum. Oh, oh, I, I, th I see what you mean. I thought you meant winning. I was like, damn, dude. <laughs> that's a lot to ask. Especially since... Take, an, take an FA Cup, if he builds on it. So okay. If he don't win anything, then I would change it. So FA Cup in top, like, four? Yeah, I'd, I'd take an FA Cup in second or third, but okay. I'm expecting a title race, yeah. I think it's between Chelsea and City, I'll be, I'll be honest. Maybe Liverpool is going to be in there. I think it's going to be you guys. I don't think Liverpool is going to be, be in there, so I'm, I think it's going to be you guys, Liverpool, City, uh, Chelsea, and... Wait, did I forget somebody? Yeah. Leicester? Nah, not Leicester. So, Chelsea, Liverpool, City, and you guys. Leicester outside chance, as always. The They'll probably be in there right, until they uh, mess it up nearby. again. Give me a second. I'll be right back. I just need to check something over. Actually, while, now, so should we wrap it up? Yeah, we can do. We've done quite a bit. I'll take care, Ellie. Thank you for coming. Thanks, Ellie. Appreciate it. I think, Thank yeah, you. I think Chelsea will, um, yeah. I can't really see Arsenal. I mean, I'm just being realistic. I'm, you know, you have to be. I hear people like, oh. Know. I mean, we would have to surprise like everybody to even be in there. Yeah, which we could, but you know, in the past we haven't. My prediction for Arsenal was a Europa League spot, but at the minute I'm not too sure. I think I I'll be honest, I kinda of don't want a Europa League spot because I don't think we I think we we just need to have like one cup uh, season or two just in the week. I'll be honest with you, I hate the Europa League so much I'd rather not be in it. Yeah, it's it's a shit show, but it's still a European title at the end of the day. 
I'd rather get a Europa League, as an Arsenal fan, um, I'd rather have the Europa League than FA Cup just because they have been able to won Europe. Yeah. I guess we'll see you tomorrow morning. I'll be up. I don't think Pig is streaming the uh, Arsenal game, but uh, I know Jams is going to be streaming, so if you want to come hang out there, okay. I'll be in there. What time is United kicking off? Oh yeah, they're all three o'clock kickoff tomorrow. Really? With five o'clock game at four thirty. I heard they're not showing the United game on TV. No, they're not. It's um, because they decide to get the right, like each picture months in advance. Can't change it. So. Uh, That's kind of crazy, right? Like, first on all the game is time on TV. No. You have to watch yeah. on, uh, what's it called, um, stream. Yeah. Well, I'm sure you guys will still tune in somehow. Oh, uh, we'll find I don't even know who's, what we're showing. Maybe they'll show uh, the United game here, I have a feeling. Yeah, because, I know, because we don't have the same constraints. Or maybe we do, I don't know. I'll be honest with you. It could be the same story. Alright, guys. Uh, yeah, I think we should wrap it up right, for the day. Yeah, we start, we'll be back tomorrow with some uh, Rocket League, I guess. Maybe. Or we'll play this game. We'll see. And I will let you guys know on Sunday if you're playing... Uh, the game, or am I gonna go to the show? But anyways, I'm gonna go have my pizza. <laughs> That's all pizza. Nice. Enjoy. Thank you. We'll continue this game. We shall. Very soon. Alright, guys. Have a good night. I may I may come back on uh, to do uh, the long dark, but okay. I'll be killing some rabbits probably. So I don't know if you guys uh, who wants to go see that. Well, why not? <laughs> well, listen, it's between the old lady and the rabbits, and uh, I choose the old lady. <laughs> Perfect Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. If you Google uh, old lady and rabbit, you'll find something very different. Yeah, let's, let's not. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, we're going to wrap it up. Goodbye. <laughs>